Good afternoon. Good, good morning. I'm Edu. I'm a UX UI uh, designer from the mobile solution team. Um, I'm Moodle for one and a half year, and I've been Moodle user for almost half of my life. Um, today, I'm going to explain how we use the UX design process to get from 3.9 to 4.0. Uh, but first, um, uh, what is UX or user experience? Um, when we say user experience, we are preferring to help people interact with the product. Um, when and when people use a product, they usually um, evaluate their experience according to the following criteria. Um, if the product provides value, it's useful or respond to, the, to their needs. If the product is easy to use and it makes it easy for them to complete, complete their, ta their task, and if the product works properly, and if the product is attractive and pleasant to use, that is something that's it's important. So, um, what is user experience design? First of all, UX design is not the same as UI, UI design. User experience design is often mistakenly referred as a user interface design. That's because, that's because mm, many people associate the word design with visuals. And as you can see in the image, UX encompass uh, many different aspects of the product design. And user interface is just the surface layer of a product. Peter Morville, in his UX Honeycomb theory, states that UX design is the process of creating products that are simple and easy to use, that fill a need, that are attractive and evoke uh, positive emotions, um, that are is easy to navigate with locatable content accessible to everyone, including those with disabilities, secure and trustworthy, and that, de and that deliver um, value to the company that uh, helps them to reach their objectives. However, um, UX design is more than just create products. It's also about improving, fixing, iterate, and learn. And it's about solving problems. Theodore Levitt, they put it, people don't want to buy a quarter inch drill, they want to a quarter inch hole. With this, Levitt argued that people don't buy products, they buy solutions. The design thinking or human-centered design process is a method that encourages people to identify and solve problems by doing three essential tasks, empathize, work together, and file effectively, something really important. Um, within these three tasks, there are five phases or steps. Empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. But design, design thinking is an iterative and non-linear process. Stages are not always sequential. And so far, many companies have adopted adapt, and adapted this methodology and have proposed and put into practice different approaches of this, pro of, of this process. Say that, let's jump to the heart of the matter. How we have, we have used insights and the design thinking process to improve the user experience in the app. This is a visual representation of what our approach um, to the process looked like, or at least how it felt. Um, in general, it's a process that consists of collecting and gathering information and then reducing our possibilities and prioritizing. But let's go step by step. The empathize and discover phase consists on researching and gathering our necessary information and asking the whys. In order to understand uh, the business goals and be able to empathize with the users and understand their needs. In the first phase, sorry. In, the in this first phase, I, f I focus on gather as much information as possible, learn about the product and how it works in, this, in, in its history. Um, I learn about the current status of the product, the company, current projects, long-term and short-term objectives, necessities, and more. Meet the people in board, something really important, and the team, the, st the stakeholders, and their roles, and their work and points of view. But mainly, I'm learning about the, about the users and empathize with them. Here's some key learnings I, I got from the, from the mobile app. Model app is experience is more student-centered. 
Um, the majority of the users are young people, mostly high school and university students. 90% of our users are phone users, while only 9% use tablets and the rest of the 1% other other devices. And also, 88% 80, of our users use Android devices and only 12% use, use Apple. On the other hand, there were also five tasks um, or requirements we had to take into account um, and it was analyze the direct and indirect competitors and other trending products uh, to identify patterns, um, check comments, feedback and reviews from Play Store, App Store, support, mother partners, community forums, tracker to extract insights, adapt and translate UX and UI improvement from LMS 4.0 and to ensure consistency, improve the app accessibility and fix current issues, and take into account the current experience of the current user experience. Um, next, the definition phase consists on combining other research and learning from the previous phase and looking, looking at where the user problem exists. Um, we analyzed it and synthesized the learnings from previous phase, gathered insight and feedback uh, to understand the user needs, define the process, the steps, the methods, and the way to work, and define the mind fields and project to work on. In this phase, we use some, me some, some mapping and brainstorming methods, such as um, user persona to understand the users, affinity maps to compile, group, and categorize the different insights, learn sur survey canvas to plan surveys and obtain missing information, among some others. Um, this helps us to identify the four main projects um, or major areas to work. That was um, rethink and improve the navigation of the app, redesign and adapt the user interface, improve the app performance, and improve the notification experience. Um, this time, it's time to get creative. Um, in this phase, uh, we start thinking and proposing cre creative ideas and possible solutions based on the need uh, defined in the previous phase. Um, in this phase, we did a lot of, a lot of explorations and draft. We reviewed and analyzed the app, the flows, the screen, the architecture. Um, we started to propose and assess ideas for the new UI. Uh, with the ideas and objectives clear, we jumped to the prototype phase. Um, the time has finally come to, do to come down to work with Figma um, or what is considered to be the, the real design part. We work uh, on the first proof of um, proposals. We discussed and agreed uh, within the team and drawn several screen and possible solution. Uh, several screen, really several screen. Also, at the same time, we were uh, working on the first component library, a base on which we call continue work. And then we built some interactive prototypes. As the name says, in this stage, it's time to test and validate. With the prototype and the selected solution, it is time to return to, return to the user for feedback. Uh. The objectives, but the objectives here was evaluate if the solutions respond to the problem. In this point, our goal um, was to run tests with rare users, but due to the difficulty of sourcing them, we tried an uh, other approach. Run, run uh, quick query like tests um, to validate things like usability, um, design patterns, visual design, learnability, etc. And why guerrilla testing? First of all, during, uh, during the design process, we made use of uh, design patterns. Our main interest with this first prototype, prototype was to validate the um, UI and the changes as the one of the main areas we were working on. Um, so we designed and prepared a user research strategy focused more on validating topics such as design patterns, usability, accessibility, information flows, and architecture. Um, also listening to more impartial, impartial and less biased um, impressions and opinions. This allowed us to test with people around us. 
Also, after the design thinking process is um, usually cyclical. Um, it's also iterative, an iterative process. Um, it's important to take into account the phase of implementing and tracking to check if the solution works and collect learnings. Um, some of the most noticeable uh, changes implemented include a more minimalist UI, navigation improvements, the user account menu, the new course index, improvement in the navigation between sections, and the new blocks driver. Um, what are we doing? We continue monitoring the, rating, the, the ratings and comments from the App Store. We continue keeping an eye on the different discussions and the community forum. Um, we continue taking into account feedback and message from our partners and users to support. We are working on the improvement of the four big areas. And we continue working on smart improvements and easy wins. But um, we want you to help us. Well, we want the community to help us. So we need that, um, that uh, people listen to, the, to your users, listen to your users and pay attention to their needs, their problems, the user cases, the scenario. Ask them why provide, uh, why provide user, no, sorry. Ask them why. This is something that's really important. When you uh, focus on, on the problems, always it's important to ask them why. Um, provide uh, useful information and cool insights, data, KPIs, resource, any useful and actionable information. Um, help us to source real app user for testing. That isn't something really difficult right, right now. Um, yeah, um, if you um, want to, to continue talking and discussing about it, you can contact us uh, directly. You can uh, email me, or you can write in the UX uh, model, uh, model community forum. Um, and well, I'll be around in the product bar or well, around. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, Thank you so much. Any questions for Edu? Thank you. Um, I think, sorry, I'm very tired. I think you, may, you said that most Moodle app users were school-aged students. Did I hear that right? Uh, yeah, most, I mean. I find that, as someone who works in a university, I find that surprising. Um, how did you, what's the data you, I mean, what, you, you're obviously looking at data on who's using the app, so I'm interested in um, how you, how do you know that, basically? Um, well, um, <laughs> As I, say, as I said, most of the users are university students and, and, and job people because um, it's, um, like we did a lot, a lot of research but about the, the, trend, uh, the trending, about the, the use in the student nowadays. Um, yeah, um, as we can uh, get from feedback, a lot of comments, we uh, deduce it and got the conclusion that most of the, our users um, were um, students but young people. Maybe I cannot t uh, tell to you the exactly range age, but um, this is something, a, a point that to help us to take into account which uh, way we wanted to go in the designing of the new experience. So, having to, because it helped us to have into account some things like content of users, because a mobile experience is n not only reduced to the, um, to the user interface, it's, it has to, it's about uh, the context, the other products they use, or even the way that they interact with their devices. So mm, yeah, I don't know if this answered your, your questions. Yeah? Um, uh, so, sorry, um, we also, sorry, uh, we also did uh, some, some surveys uh, with the great, I mean, what thousands of answers. Um, yeah, most of them we we got that they were students from high school and also university. But, um, yeah. 
Edu, thanks a lot. I really like the, the presentation. So I wanted to ask you, um, looking forward, particularly going back to the presentations that Emilio gave us about the new features that we'll be introducing the Moodle Workplace mobile app, will corporate stakeholders be also invited to give feedback to the, for instance, multi-tenancy features and a, and a set of other features? Sorry, can you repeat? Uh, do you want me to repeat? Oh yeah. So uh, going back to what we Emilio presented yesterday, the raw diet of Moodle Workplace, particularly the new features that will be introduced in the mobile app, like multi-tenancy branding uh, options, will corporate stakeholders like administrator be invited to give feedback to the such kind of functionalities? Um, no. By the moment, we at, at that moment we focus more on the. Um, the, only the model app. I mean, uh, we we have need to to work a bit more a bit more because when I started uh, working on the design um, design of, of the app, um, there was still the yeah, the the workplace app. But um, yeah, it's something that is uh, on the on the backlog to start to work in the um, workplace app. So, but yeah, we, this is why we only focus on, on this um, uh, this user and this experience. But yeah, any other question? Hey, hello, um, thank you for all the uh, the whole process. I think it's really really interesting. Uh, I also thought it would be really useful uh, for the audience. I uh, have a lot of uh, developers. How can someone, if for example I create a plugin or I create a new functionality if my, in my uh, Moodle, um, but I, I haven't uh, made this process, what would recommend you to someone that for example I create a plugin, how can I apply this powerful process in a really simple way um, if I just got my plugin into, into the Moodle and I want to use this. What would be some recommendations? <laughs> uh, such a tricky question. Um, to be honest, uh, design thinking process is really relative. I mean, you have this, this base, but you don't have to, I mean, you can follow, follow our, our, this process, but to be honest, the, um, I, I, will, I will tell you that in the, in the first, um, in, in the first step, like, to focus on having clear the, the, the problem, the, the, the whys, mainly, right? I mean, in my opinion, as a designer, I'm up to always to have, like, really clear, like, are my documentation, are the empath empathizing phase, but also to um, get, get a clear overview of the, of the, of the context of the app. Um, to be honest, um, it's, I, I had to say that um, when, if you want to implement like a, a new plugin, you have to take into account the, the, the use, the, or the user, the, 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 I mean, every, every aspect uh, before you jump into uh, implementing this, this plugin. But you need to have into account that um, maybe it's, I really need this uh, plugin to work in the app, and this is on, on why. Um, yeah, and having to account not only the, 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 the interface, because this is some a problem that it's, uh, it's our faces. Like, you, you have to think about our experience and how you can go far in this, in this process. So, yeah, I think this just. Yeah, yeah, that, um, that pretty much answers my question. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. 